right. Uh, there it is. The Super Scope 6. The Widow. Accurate, deadly anti-material rifle. Effective against armor, shields, biotic barriers. Upgrades the Viper Sniper Rifle. Weighing in at 39 kilogram. Widow is uh, primarily used by sniper teams in assault missions against armored vehicles or Krogan. While kinetic barriers offer effective protection on vehicles, the kind generated by conventional military field generators are far too weak against the Widow. Never designed to be carried and fired by a human. Although this modified model can be carried, no ordinary human could fire it without shattering an arm yeah there we go okay um dislocate your shoulder on that one yeah so i think the final call is pocket nukes are fun but i want more than one shot permission yeah. and like like are you saving it for the the fight or the other fight you know there's a grunt fight then there's a heavy but well, what a, comes after yeah what comes after precisely so uh Ooh, a bit of money what do i want to delete and some music. Call coming in from the elusive man, Commander. I figure you've got a few words for him, too. Mm hmm. It's like, I want to, I can't hang up on the council any faster. And Tim, I want to be permanently connected to his ass. <laughs> I'm in your Shepherd, DMs, bro. Looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Edie told us the distress call originated from the Collectors. You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. The Collectors are taking humans, and every minute we waste is one more we give the enemy to prepare. I know the stakes, but we're supposed to be on the same side, and I can't trust you. Without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap. But I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. I knew you could do it. Oh, like, we can't be... Like, we can't be taking these fucking political deflections and, and avoiding the core point of, if you're not telling me accurate information, what the fuck are we doing yeah. here? How can I trust if this all if this whole thing operates on you just bullshitting me, which I know there's some percentage amount of bullshit there always is. But if it's that high, what the fuck are we doing here? You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you should try hard to get me killed. I needed the collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. <sighs> you have one job, information. If I can't trust your intel, you're useless to me. Bars. It's never that simple. You of all people should know that. I know that I'll be a lot more careful. With the Collectors and with you. This is no time for petty grudges. Things are about to get a lot tougher. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I was just on the collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? <sighs> As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it. But we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped the gravity of a brown dwarf. God oh, damn. Okay, okay. We're finding stuff. So the, the problem... There's many problems, but the problem is, you know, when you start, you know, when you're talking about like the Triassic and Creassic periods and like you start talking about like cycles of planets and life and things that are just in like billions of years and you just start, you, you start going into like, okay, that's just, I can't fathom that number. That no. just doesn't make any sense, right? We're starting to get into that. Like, Reaper ages are just kind of in that, like, am I, I, he's not lying. I really can't fathom it. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
I can barely handle 40 years. <laughs> what the fuck you mean? Millions. Oh my god. Um, That's way beyond us. Yeah. To the crit. And just as we were telling him, like, yeah, we won't trust you anymore. You're a sus. And it's like, by the way, we found a 37 million year old, you know, ship out there. There might be some answers. And we're like, God damn it. <laughs> we have to stick with him. Isn't there a Triassic period? Isn't there like Triassic, Jurassic, and Cri Am I getting that wrong? Is there not? Is it? Is that word fucked? Here, let's learn together. <laughs> I, I thought there. I thought there was a. <laughs> the errors. Oh, okay. My my mistake. My mistake. Cretaceous period. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Triassic. Cretaceous. Okay. Yeah. Jurassic. Triassic. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Um, a brown dwarf. Our brown dwarf's basically stars that didn't quite make it. Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. No matter how many years back you go, that's the most important thing. Your ability to control that field. The mass effect. And disabling a reaper? Last time we did it with a whole lot of guns. What it about worked. this time? I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. Oh, shit. That could be interesting. Okay. And the catch? Oh, yeah, another derelict, right? Empty, nothing going on in it. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. <laughs> it will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. Normandy, assemble! Yeah, I'll tell, the, tell the crew you could eat a bag of dicks. How about that? So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Well, you know. Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the collector data banks. Necessary risk. <sighs> he tries something like that again, and the collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie, are you sure this IFF is going to work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. Nice. Oh, God. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Dead center. That can't be right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Better run the diagnostics, Joker. <laughs> Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. My calculations are correct. The Collector homeworld is located within the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction, space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the collectors don't have that kind of technology. No, but if we are starting to talk about, like, a gun that has black hole capabilities, then we're scratching the surface of black hole technology. And which, portals. Which means someone a million times more advanced must have mastery over black holes mm -hmm. you know and that's the one that's like like how do you deal with an infinite point of fucking uh, okay time to go through the folds of the universe yeah 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 or defend against it for that matter you know they fucking fuse together the black holes yeah two black holes can merge and just become the single most most mathematically complex thing 
ever in the history of ever <laughs> in terms of calculations of what's going on around it. Yeah, and through it. There is nothing more complicated in life ever than what than figuring out what is going on when two of them fuse. Holy fuck. God damn it. Okay. Sovereign did. The collectors are just servants of our real enemy. And we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays and the citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Mm. Okay. Uh, no, let's let's we, we were not done yet. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later, we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. Hmm. Yes, absolutely. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. Yeah, not what you said. Let's just charge in willy-nilly. And then when I ask you for ship updates, you'll be like, I don't know, ship doesn't look like it's ready. <sighs> Operation willy-nilly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the IFF. That's a good mission. Stop the collectors. Collector ship yielded two key pieces of information. First, collectors are actually the ancient Protheans, ugh, indoctrinated and mutated into servants of the Reapers. Second, the Omega-4 relay leads to the galactic core. The intense gravitational fields of the galactic core make any jump through the Omega-4 relay a death sentence. Unless a Reaper identify friend or foe IFF, device can be found to give the Normandy a chance to navigate to the fields safely. Go to the Brown Dwarf Nemozyne in the Thorn system to recover the Reaper IFF. I mean, if you're casually operating with black hole technology, you're indoctrinating, you're creating life, you're organically modifying it to you. Like, that's, you're just a, you're, that's a god. Yeah. That is a, it's a, it's a science fiction tech god. Interacting with us. But it is still a god way beyond what we can comprehend. Why even pretend it's not? That's a magic level shit. You can you can process like you can look at what it's doing and 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 go like okay, it's using the laws of science in the universe to do what it does, but it in effect might as well still just be gods. Yeah. Uh oh, shock, 5 shockwave. <laughs> Heavy or improved? Six seconds, 12, 250, 700. The radius and the force change. Uh, oh, but it's still 12 no matter what. Okay. Damage radius, damage radius. Um, I'd like to hit a bigger group with this thing, to be honest. Like, I, I'd, I'd like it to work that way but damage is also incredible too damage with precision but you'll hit you'll hit less people right yeah but I'm, I've been building towards damage anyway so we're going heavy there we go Bow. plus 9 renegade plus 7 paragon hmm oh, a bit thicker on the renegade side Little tiny smidge. Hmm. All right. Bad gal. <laughs> Let's see how everybody's doing. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We live, 
We'll get loud and spill some drinks on the Citadel. Okay. All right. Bro. Bro's happy now. Platonic Platonic energy. Uh Uh-huh. Commander. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Shoulder to shoulder. There you go. Is Um, that his arm on the back or just shoulder to shoulder, just one? Remember, nope. Just sitting on the, on the, on the, uh, sitting outside. (laughs) <laughs> Let's go, boy! <laughs> Let's get it! Let's get it! That's the right energy. All researches. Like a brother to me. Like a brother. <laughs> like a brother. Yeah. Damage protection up. Tech damage. 1,000. That's real chip. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Redundant fuel generator. When the shields go down, they are instantly fully restored. Sometimes. 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 And 20% to all tech powers. Oh, so is that the final version? Intr- uh, perhaps? Oh, whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up, chill. Tech duration. Uh, yeah, yeah. Three thousand. Okay. So, ship enhancements, right? Med bay, prototypes, advanced training, retrain powers. Uh, would I get access to anything new? Hold on. Who did you... Loyalty is Morden. Loyalty is... Grunt? Jacob and Grunt. So I should have access to Morden's abilities, perhaps? Um, Fuck, I wish I could just peep in and see if I get the choices or not. Instead of spending five to take a look. I guess we'll wait. Alright. Barrier is nice, though. Mm Mm-hmm. And last for a bit. Morden. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, good timing, in fact. Excellent. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next samples grow. Uh-oh. Hate waiting for culture analysis. <sighs> Never fast enough. Usually no result in advance. Just checking work. Have to be careful. Getting off track. Discovery. Based on Prothean Collector Connection, can examine technology, chart Reaper species modification, fall of Protheans. Chart Reaper Species Modification. Okay. Tell me what happened. Early stages similar to indoctrination. Can guess captured Protheans lost intelligence over several cloned generations. Mm -hmm. Cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward. As Protheans failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Oh... Can we save them? Is there anything we can do to help them? No. No glands replaced by tech. No digestive system replaced by tech. No soul replaced by tech. Whatever they were, gone forever. Mm. Understand now? They're like husks. A shell. Culture closer to husks than slaves. Exactly. Yeah. For reapers. Yeah. Protheans dead. Collectors just final insult. Must be, be destroyed. destroyed. Yeah, here we are again. You can't, can't re- reach down deep and pull a Prothean out. No. And even if you could, it's missing so much of what makes it a Prothean. Yeah, it's like generations and generations of genetic modification. It's not the same thing. It's not a Prothean anymore. Yeah, yeah. We're questioning what a Krogan is just because he came out of a tube. Uh huh. <laughs> <And then> we're talking <laughs> about we this. Like, you think I'm gonna have some feelings yeah. about that? Uh-uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't have time for this. I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had to stop the Collectors. Enjoyed challenge. Saw necessity of attack on Collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work, my people. Hard to care about two armies. One wins, one loses. Always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what Collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before. Don't mean to imply that. Just committed now. Won't let you down. I'm a bit curious about something, and I know that, like, the answer is... I know what the answer is from a like product like perspective and and writing but in a setting where you come across the citadel you meet all these races and then you have non-council races right and we've talked about them before like 
any race that's too much of a mystery, you still kind of have an obligation to kind of, you know, find out as much as you can about them. If, if possible, yeah. Right? Like, barring war for the sake of security, you know? Like, it's um, it's basically like the way the, the, the alphabet organizations run, you know, where you're like, okay, well, whatever is happening inside those borders... Right, whatever's going on in North Korea, we still have a job to figure out, to know as much as we can about what the fuck is happening there, lest our own destruction is uh, were to come from it. Right, and so the, with, the, with, the, with the way the Citadel operates, it's kind of odd that we're like coming across these things and going, oh, one of these races is directly linked to not just Protheans but Reapers, um, but like, I guess prior to Shepard coming along and hitting that beacon, um, you. They just would have looked at them and goes, we don't know what they are, but they're really tough and they're aggressive and they're over there doing their own thing, right? And who knows, whatever. Um, and, like, I'm thinking of, like, in a Star Wars context, how it's like, okay, then there's the unknown space and some weird fucking BDSM fuckers are living out in there and we don't want to fuck with them, so leave it alone. <laughs> this is the known, dignified galactic space. And then over there, we don't talk about over there. With those weirdos with their nipple like clamps, right? Exactly. Okay. Um, and so, like here, it's like, what was the official view on the collectors? You know, is it like, yeah, they're non-council race. We don't know much. They don't talk to us. They do their thing, but they seem harmless. So we're just not going to bother investigating. Or are there teams that like go in and like try to fog Yo, figure out? Know. Yeah, so you try to get as much info as possible behind the scenes. You know. Because, like, from a, from a Mass Effect 2, the sequel to Mass Effect 1 perspective, it's they did not exist until we started writing part 2. But yeah. what do you actually create as far as a retroactive, like, <laughs> council view? What did the Wikipedia page say on them in Mass Effect 1? Uh -huh. You know? What is it about the Collector's modifications that bothers you so much? disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Mm -hmm. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Mm. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Our fault. But you re-sterilized them. If you feel that way, why did you work on the genophage modification? Talked before. Best option. That or kill them all. Walt rehash it. If around during first contact would have argued against it. Wasn't there then. Do what I can. See, that's the thing is like, do the calculations still say the same thing? Right? I guess that's the that's the implication there. Years of calculation. Um Yeah. And you know what's also interesting, too? And it's like, in, with such a pragmatic, logical dude, like, he's got that throwaway. It's such a quick line. But he says, like, when you're like, oh, that almost sounds like religious belief in what you're doing. And he's like, yeah, Solarians, wheel of life. Right? We, you know, it's easier to look at things from a point of view of believing that you're going to get a chance to come back around and f right your wrongs so whatever you've did, done in this life if you do choose that to believe in an idea, the idea that you'll get a chance to come back and fix it mm. later on it makes it a little bit easier to do what you're doing in this moment you know and he's even looking at it objectively from the point of view of like this might be bullshit but i'm choosing to believe it because it makes me do what i'm doing easier you know but like the fact that they even have that concept is like another super interesting thing about like what convinces them and pushes them and propels them to do their work you blame the Solarians for what the Krogan did? yes like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen Krogan unprepared for space flight technological advance Krogan could have evolved alone worked out aggression been ready to use new tech responsibly Instead, Solarians came, disrupted mm. Krogan culture, used Krogan as blunt instrument against Ratnai. Short-sighted. Foolish. Nukes were... They split the atom on their own, though. Yes. 
So they already got to that level, right? Of science. It's everything after the fact. So, uh, yeah, okay. Okay. I mean, yes, that is in fact, uh, right, the whole, the, yeah, the whole Star Trek Prime Directive thing about, like, not fucking with races yeah. that, uh, uh, are still developing. Yeah, I guess this, yeah, because they had the nuclear capabilities before everything, I guess they were technologically advanced and then they went back down and then they got out of it but we were like no you're supposed to be back down here but it's like it's still but it's still it's like okay our nuclear age is the 40s <laughs> right so okay. that's is that's that's the advance that's how advanced we're talking right when you think about it don't think about modern day casual tons of warheads everywhere controlled uh, 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 you know uh, explosions of the various types of megatons, hydrogen bombs, and such. Uh, think about, like, us entering the nuclear age in the middle of the last century. We're fucking dinosaurs back then, yeah. compared to what we're doing now. That's so, true. they hit that point, you know, and then got good enough at that to be able to use it in a um, war context, and then blew themselves to smithereens for a while. Whoops. And then the Solarians showed up, and and so on. And so We're close to being like the Krogans, in a way. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Are we better? No. You Ugh. said the collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi-species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. But not about me. Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution, interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in collector base. Culturally dead. Tools for reapers. Worse than the Geth. <laughs> you sang? <laughs> so you are interested in cultural geography then. Because oh. that's the whole... Again, you're not... You're like... You're not a social scientist. The parts where... The parts of Krogan culture collapse that occur when the genophage is enacted are not your expertise. Um, but surely they must affect the way you feel about things. What? This about What's this? Little, yeah, yeah. What do we got here? I'm sorry. I know that was important, but you perform Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert, which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. <laughs> Holy crap, he does it all. He does it all. Wow. He's... <laughs> I... Damn. Okay, Morden. Um, so... Is that a hit in Solarian culture too? Like, how is music at this point? What are we doing? Are you singing human songs or... Well, the Alcor, uh, they love Shakespeare. The Alcor are down with Shakespeare. <laughs> and he's down, like, so, like, are, is human culture also just exporting and dominating? <laughs> oh, no. Are we hitting the, 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 the charts with K-pop? <laughs> Taking over? Damn. Man, these humans sure know how to well, sing and Yeah, dance. when are we, like, what, are we going to take in any alien culture and start being into it? Like, what's going on? I'm sorry, I know that was important, but you Are we just going to repeat? And Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology, but I am an expert, which I know is a tautology. My genome studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. He felt it. He closing his eyes. Getting into the prestation, that's great. That's great. <laughs> he 
can do it all. He can do it all. Do you know some of these people that are like good at sports, good at sciences, good at art, good at everything? Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. man. All he's missing is the final line. And everything's alphanumeric. <laughs> <laughs> you can go Animaniacs on it, but my brain goes reboot. That's pretty good. Uh, I think we got all three. Yeah. Right? We got all three. Oh. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morden. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. Thanks for gracing us with your time. <sighs> Holy crap. <laughs> you should be on some sort of TV show something. The purest little genocider <laughs> needs to be protected. Protect his smile. <laughs> and all his ideology. As he wipes off the smiles of as many Krogan kids as possible. <laughs> Where are we going? FTL? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Is that so? You had me so worried when you were trapped on the collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. Worried? You do care. Of course she does. That sounds like more than just professional concern, Kelly. You're more than just my commander. You're my friend. Edie brought you back to me. If she had a body, I'd give her a big hug. And what about me? I'm standing right here. Where's my hug? Oh, Shepard. I wish there were time to get to know you better. Wait. Is that a... Is that a real choice? Bruh. Is that a real choice? Let's go. Are we going faster than light? I I'm hungry. <laughs> for free? You know. We're going faster than light for free? Why don't you join me in my cabin for a meal? It would give us the chance to talk. That sounds wonderful. I've been hoping for some private time with you. Lead the way. Now? HR meeting. My office. Stat. Goodness. I haven't stayed up that late since my college days. I had a wonderful evening. Thank you, Shepard. What? What happened? Renegade actions. What? What did we talk about? I don't remember anything. What? They didn't even do the dramatic pan over to space. Just show us a show us a star. Show us a a a, a, a fucking a comet traveling. <laughs> Maybe two. I don't remember what I ate. I don't remember what we talked about. I don't remember how I got back in my bed. What is going on? But we're here, aren't we? Tim, can we get a replay on that? I know you recorded it. <laughs> I don't know. HR deleted the footage. I noticed the fish tank up in your cabin. If you'd like, I could feed your fish while you're away. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> well, about that. Uh, yeah, 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 by all means. Fish? <laughs> <laughs> They're a big fan of Geno Flakes. Just tap a couple in the top. I'd appreciate that, Kelly. It's my pleasure. Anyway, what's up? Now, now she'll have to just enter, barge in, unannounced. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I mean, I don't. What know. do you do here <laughs> every time? I better go. All right, okay. um, let's let's we'll let's. Later. She kind of mumbles How that back into her you, computer Commander. too. How's the crew? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. I guess we just had dinner. Hope it was good. Here, I made you craft dinner. And for dessert, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I know how to cook. 
Uh, not enough of these hoses loyal. No, huh? Thanix is a cool word. You're alive? What? Mom? We did talk to mom last time, right? So I have to find out my child is, al is alive third hand from the Alliance Brass? Oh, no. Where the hell have you been? I figure wherever, whatever you're doing is classified, likely part of your Spectre operations. Just stay safe out there and keep doing your mom proud and sneak something through a secure channel next time. Love your mother, Captain Hannah. <laughs> well, now you know, mom. <laughs> so what you're saying is you should probably let your mom know, huh? Letting your mom know ain't the oh, worst thing. Yeah. It's a common courtesy. No, no, what's going on? I'm alive. Right. Hey, mom. Just, just so you know, I'm still around. What's going on? Yeah. A common courtesy. If, 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 if I disappear, you can connect the dots. If I appear on TV, you can also connect the dots. That's fair. That's Damn. fair. Just give her a call. Mm. All right, Shepard, you know what to do. You're too small. Whoa, we're getting some SPH going on here. Morlin, I am sorry, my mate. I leave you for a Krogan because you are not as endowed as good for your species. Well, some people are into that, you know. Do you fear those words? Morlin's famous <laughs> shop sells many enhancements online that are not restricted by Citadel trading regulations. Whether you require hormone augmentation, cybernetic enhancements, or genibiotic xenografting, Morlin has many things you will be pleased with. All species and gender order online from Morlin's famous extranet site, hot linked from this message. Product availability varies by local trade regulations. All elements zero product requires shipping surcharge. No shipping to Omega Krogan reproductive organs not available. Other restrictions may apply. <laughs> Side effects may include giant fucking heart attacks. <laughs> That's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> If you get a boner that lasts way too long, over 48 hours, call us and tell us how wicked sick it was. <laughs> Man. I leave you for a Krogan. They got quads. Two times the fun. Yep. Operation Street Overlord. <laughs> oh my From God. Olar, Han, Shepard. They say you're alive, that you cheated death. That sending you this is just isn't just a pointless exercise as part of my therapy. They say a lot of things. I'm still alive. She still isn't. I hear you killed Benezia. Nicely done. Another woman I helped kill, if my information did any good. They want me to thank you. The Rachni would have killed us all if you had not shown up. It would have been right. Oh, is this the Volus that was uh, guilty in, in Mass Effect 1? I think, I think, uh, that's who this is. Yeah. He was super depressed. <laughs> Why me and not her? Why did you show up then and not before? <laughs> I think that they can fix, they think they can fix me. But maybe you're really, you're not really back. Maybe I died. Maybe I didn't close the door in time. Maybe I held it open to give her a chance. And the Rachni ripped my suit open. And I died of exposure there, on peak 15. Maybe I'm a martyr, and this is an ugly hallucination before a glorious afterlife. <laughs> but if I'm not, then thank you. Hanolar. Christ. Do you okay? Therapy. Good. Very good. Online these days, even, they say. Ooh. Do it. Important. Talk to people. Mm. Back from female cat. Woo! -wee! <laughs> oh, dark or not? Party hat on. He's got the tie around his neck. He's <laughs> holding bottles. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh. Dear human. The clan leader told me how to get in touch with you. I don't remember much of what happened, 
but the chief scout said you pulled my quad out of the fire when I got caught and poisoned over at the warlock camp. Thanks. Next time I have a chance to kill a human, I won't. Unless I go into blood rage or something. I gotta go to the... female camp after I recovered. And it was pretty good. I was actually thinking of joining the blood pack before this happened. I think I'm going to stay here <laughs> Yeah, you had a good time over there, did you? Uh-huh. All right, Turns out you have a good life over there. Well, I'm glad that you've changed your mind. You were in a pretty bad state, and you thought you were doing a good thing. But, uh, as discussed, you, you could not make informed consent, right? Boy. I mean, that's like the one time, though, Krogan's, when they come back to base... Where it's just like the one time they're chill. It's just like they go, they get back off the bus. Hey, <laughs> what up? <laughs> and they're just they're in the middle. Everyone's in the middle of fighting, and they're and you're, and you're just oh, like blood rage. Yeah, and in your head, just like walking with a fucking strut, you know. <laughs> he's walking with a strut, and he's smelling his fingers. Very good. Very good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh. Going through his joker. So the collectors were once proteans repurposed by the Reapers. What a sad end. Makes you wonder if the keepers on the Citadel were once something different. I can't stop thinking about the keepers. That's exactly it. What did they look like beforehand? And what were they? Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think that's it for now. See you, Commander. Okie doke. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends yeah, him. Yeah, the last I... Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me to eat you. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Mm -hmm. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? Tell me everything! I guess this doesn't open up just because you make your way through. How is Cerberus organized? Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cell. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by... That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I guess... I mean, Edie's present, but... As an AI, it's kind of an execution identical to the way a VI works, really. We're not actually getting the, the personality by choosing to talk to her ourselves, but uh, it's coming out with the Joker conversations. Uh, let's go see. Duh, boys. Still with some locked doors. I can't believe the collectors were once Protheans. I always pictured Protheans being regal, not giant bugs. Who knows what the Reapers did to them? Creepy. Hmm. Yeah, no, in other words, I, I kind of. I guess I was hoping that, like, Edie would have things to say, like other crew members would after each mission. You know? But. Garrus? Wait. We haven't done your loyalty mission, right? So... Any chance we could get to the Citadel, Shepard? Yeah. I'd like to follow that lead on Sedonis. Right, right, mm -hmm. right, right. I'll let you know, yes. I'll be here if you need me. Yeah, we have to calm down Grunt. Okay, we so Jack and... Jack, Miranda. Garrus and Miranda are not going to have anything to say until we, we get them sorted out. Versus the algorithm.